Hi guys, okay, so I'm going to a festival, Afro Fest here in Toronto, and I'm running late, so I just wanted to do though a little quick get ready with me. So um I hope you guys like it. So I'm just doing um, my foundation. I actually just already um for an extra um, layer because it's gonna be hot. I put this um setting powder all over my face and then I put my foundation. I just put like a little because like I said it's gonna be outside, so I don't want to be too hot. Um and I'm just blending it out right now. I'm just going into my problem areas, which is around my mouth. My mouth is like really bad problem area, as I make my chin. Okay, so I'm back. So I'm just going to, I'm just taking a clean brush and then I'm just patting it in. I actually wet my brush. So I'm just patting my foundation in, making sure it goes. I usually do this with a blending brush, but I'm not right now. <laughs> and don't forget your eyelids. And then, yeah. Okay, so eyebrows. Sorry, guys. No thing. So I'm just using this color, um, LA Girl, um, I eyebrow pen. So just literally. I don't like to do too much because, yeah, it makes your eyebrows look too fake. So I'm just gonna bring it down here to kind of like match it and then make sure it's clean in the back. And then just do little hair like strokes in the front. Okay, and bring it like that. Just do the other side, I'll just clean it up. I have thick eyebrows, so I'm just really filling it in. I'm not really adding a lot to it. So sorry. Can I see? and then I just kind of clean it with a spoolie if I want because this is a lighter out of the two eyebrow pencils I have so this one was the LA girl and this one is the soft brow oh I think this is the darker one actually yeah I think actually that was the darker one so I would just go in with my LA girl brow bestie and then just go in with to fill it in because it's the lighter one so it doesn't have a lot I'm now gonna clean my brows with, um, I'm gonna make, use my LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm not trying to do anything too um, dry today, like, or in too, too bold. So this is just like a two shade lighter than two to three shades lighter. Two, it's like, I would say like two shades, sh like two shades lighter than my actual complexion. Sorry guys, <laughs> that had on the bottom with the concealer. So I go back in my concealer and then I just clean this side up and then kind of like drag it down. And 
and that's what I do. That's it. Like I said, I like this because it's like a, about two shades lighter, not too dark, not too light. So I do tend to put this on top. If it's gonna be like a a lighter eyeshadow, um, sorry, an eye lighter concealer than this one, I usually put this on top, and then I would put the the um, the lighter concealer on the bottom. But because it's like a day thing, I don't want to be like I said extravagant. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to blend it out with um, this Morphe M17 brush, and I'm going to just blend it out in here. I have to hurry up because I have to do some more stuff. Okay. And I'm just going to blend out the bottom. And then, like I said, when I drag it, I'm just blending it out. And then look at it. Voila. Perfect eyebrow. So let me just do it on this side really quick, okay? So I'm just gonna be probably using Maybelline again. So I love, I love this concealer. Um, it's the Instant Age Rewind, and this one is in the hazel. Is it hazelnut? Yeah, hazelnut. It's done. I have to go get more, but I just love it. I don't know. It just does something for me. So I'm gonna use this. Um, I'm gonna go get a blending brush. I mean, a blending sponge to blend this out because I like the way blending sponge does it. So I'm just gonna put it in the corner. Oh, mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna be putting it in my front of my eye here and then at the corner here and then I'm gonna do it here as well. Glides on so buttery and nice. I do put it in right here, right here, and right here. I'm gonna be using my Morphine um, contour stick. I love this contour stick. It's almost done, but I love this contour stick. It's in the color Effect 19. And it just is like a good, nice chocolate. It doesn't make me too dark, my contour, but it just makes it just right. Okay. And then I usually do right here. Sorry. I'll fix that. So yeah, I usually do it at the side here, side here, and then to contour my face. Give me one second. Okay. All right, so all I'm gonna just do is take my blending brush, and that's a little bit, but, and then I'm gonna just blend it all. I swear you, I need to get new brushes, but um, <laughs> for my contour, my contour, contour brush is broken, but I just usually just use this and then I just kind of like brush in the contour. Okay, and then I'm just going to use this. Just have to be gentle, but I just bring it all the way up to my eyebrows. So I'll just do. And then just go in and just make sure it just kind of like all blends together seamlessly. So then I would just go back in with my um, brush that I use for my to blend to kind of like pat in my concealer. And then, not my concealer, my foundation. And then just go back in and just to do like a once over, just to make sure I get everywhere. Especially just right here, just to blend it out better. And then right here. Okay. Because, like I said, I'm not doing too dark. I'm gonna go back in to my Laura Mercier. Um, this is the color medium deep. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, medium deep. So I just use it as um, 
under my eye. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna bake it. I'm just gonna like kind of like push it in my skin because like I said, we are outside and I'm trying to make sure that this does not melt. So I'm gonna bake for myself. And then I'm just gonna put it on the tip of my toe. I'm gonna put it a lot, a little bit more here because I tend to get hot over there. And then I'm just doing the excess here. Okay. I'm gonna leave this on for a few minutes because yeah, it's just the sex in it. And then I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back again. So with my Morphine um, face palette, so my face palette in 8D, I'm just gonna go in and just contour my face. I'm using the bronzer, like this bronzer. Oh, sorry. Just contour my face. I'm just using this bronzer. And I'm just taking it and I'm contour. Yeah. And I'm gonna put it on the front. I'm gonna use that same contour, a little bit lighter one too as well, and then just do it to the sides of my nose. Since I don't have any, I'm just being lazy, I'm gonna just use this here for my blush as well. It's like a pink blush. I'm just gonna put it here. And then I'm actually gonna use a highlight on top of it. Girl, saves me time. Saves me time because I'm in a rush. Okay, so now I'm just going to remove all the excess powder. And then I'm just going to blend my blush. Talking thing, but I'll be using my um, Urban Decay um, the Slick Setting Powder, and it's supposed to be an oil control. So we'll see. And then I'm just gonna be using uh, my Maybelline Colossus Ice um, Mascara for my mascara. I was gonna do eyelashes, but like I said, I'm running late, so I won't do eyelashes. What I might do, No, I'm not gonna do eyelashes because I'm running late. And I think the look's good. Okay, I'm going to come fix my. Okay, so I have my stocking cap on and I'm just gonna wear this. I'm wearing a hat, so that's why I'm not gluing this on because it's way too hot. So I'm going to Afro Fest, but I went to work, so I'm now coming. I got home from work, took a shower, and now I'm getting ready. So I don't know how long it's gonna be, but. Hair is shedding like a bitch. <laughs> so I'm gonna just have it straight in the middle, but like I said, I'm gonna wear a hat, so I'm just straightening it. Okay guys, this is the final look. Um, oh. Okay, yeah, so I pretty much like it. I'm gonna be leaving now. I'm gonna be wearing these sunglasses. Cause, and yeah, I'm gonna be leaving because I'm running late. Hopefully I can get some more footage and yeah, um, I'm going to try to show you guys what I'm wearing. Sorry, don't mind the background of my house. It's a mess. So this is what I'm wearing. Just a jumper and some slippers. And yeah, I'm, I have like a white shirt to go over it. Where is it? So yeah, this white shirt would go over it when it gets cooler at night. All right, guys, I'm going to be going because I'm super duper late. And yeah. You know what? I had a bag that I used. I'm just gonna put my stuff in a one of these disposable bags because I have my drink and 
this. Okay, I will talk to you guys, or I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, bye. Or in the car, most likely in the car. Hey guys, so I finally reached an hour later and I can't find traffic, I, I can't find parking. So my friend said she parked by a Starbucks. So I'm trying to find that Starbucks and then like go. I hate traffic and there's a lot of black people, I love it. Okay, so, oh my God, my face looks like so shit. I hate when I feel like I'm rushing to do it. But oh my gosh, it's like freaking packed. And I came late. I'm gonna call my friends right now and see what they are. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh, hi, no, I'm just looking at my new sister. How are you doing? How are you doing? Good. I was like, what is this? Resolve, you go in here, but I didn't know it was either. Hi, guys. Hey guys, I reached home. I'm having a lot here. I had such the longest, it took me the, forever to get home. I'm downstairs in my car. Listen, this hat from Shein, 
is so ghetto because I'd be like, why is my hat on all day? I'm like, why is my hat on thing? But it's just funny make. It's just a funny make. Anyways, I'm home. I'm so tired, but I just had to take out my wig and take my braids out because I'm gonna do my hair tomorrow. So it's taken out. Okay, so let's try this again. I am so tired. I just had to take out my wig and take out my braids. I'm going to be doing my hair tomorrow, ponytail. I'm gonna wash it in the morning, but I just want to take it out and feel free tonight, just for one night before I pay up. But I'm so tired. I had a good day. I had a good I had a good evening. Afrofest was lit. There was a lot of a lot. A lot of black people and I loved it, but it just and and I was like and I had some anxiety because I'm like, okay. Toronto for some reason when there's a bunch of black people there's shootings that happen so I was thankful that there was no shooting it was a good night and yeah so but anyways guys alright bye